Good morning. <clears throat> it's 7.57 in the morning. So yesterday wasn't actually a completely bad day. <clears throat> Fairly productive. Um, I'm trying some forced attention exercises to see how long I can last. Yeah, that's what she said. Um, sadly, I figured I'd try with something fun. getting into a tabletop miniature game called Star Wars Legion. Figured I'd spend some time working on figures, painting, prepping, what have you. Normally before the stroke, I could easily go six, seven hours just sitting down, working on models, no problem at all. Uh, yeah. Three-ish. Heavy on the ish. Um, not working at the same pace I used to be able to, um, and I don't think I'm doing the same level of quality or detail as I was. But, I guess that'll be determined once I actually start getting figures finished and see what that looks like. So, then I realized I needed supplies, so I went downtown to get a few paint brushes, uh, good quality brushes, uh, and some paint. Yeah, I needed some new glue, too. Uh, I went to the hobby shop. Uh, unfortunately, the way they're paint rack is set up, and it's like most paint racks. Um, I had to bend over for a good couple of minutes while reading A, the colors, and B, finding what I needed. Uh, I might have only been bent over maybe five minutes, if that. And it immediately brought on a wicked, massive, nasty headache. Um, yeah, so that didn't fare so well. Uh, came home, <clears throat> took some medication, lied down. Uh, took a while for the headache to decide to leave, and then once it did, then I was able to sleep. Unfortunately, this whole new normal thing sucks! Because I can't predict it. I have no way to go out in the world and predict what's about to happen. You know what I mean? Like, it's just not something I can do. It's not, you know. And once that headache's there, there's no getting around it. You know, uh, it impacts my balance. Uh, it can impact my speech. Uh, it impacts how fast I move. Yeah, once that headache's there, I I'm pretty much a write-off. Um problem, in order to make sure that I can't do anything, I have to figure out what I can do. And in order to figure out what I can do means I have to go out into the world and do things. Unfortunately, doing things occasionally can have negative consequences, such as yesterday. I was in bed ridiculously early. Um, not sleeping, but just in bed. Lights off, you know, uh, Netflix or YouTube playing in the background. This whole stroke thing is not what it's cracked up to be, let me tell you. Uh, the brochure didn't quite do it justice. Yeah, you've... Now, this is the part, um, through the reading that I've done and, and the videos I've watched and the research, this is the part where you don't give up, right? Um, you've survived the stroke, granted. Uh, you're going through recovery. Great. I'm outside the six-week window, so organically my brain has done whatever it's going to do. Now it's work. Um, problem. If I give up and just don't work on the rehab activities of being inverted or bent over or whatnot, um, I can't train my brain again to just get, suck it up and deal. Um, so now it's work. It's genuine, gonna fuck me work. It sucks. Right? So here, here's the part in your recovery where you can't give up, right? Uh, you've got an obstacle, it's been identified. Um, now you have to, if you can choose to bypass it, sure, just go around it, 
just forget it's there, just treat it like it doesn't exist, and just um, go around it, right? Not a reality, at least not in my reality. I'm not about to just go around an obstacle, right? It's, it's not something I plan on doing. Um, it's going to get breached or it's going to get cleared. I don't know which. Uh, I'm going to have to fight my way through it. It's, it's probably the only... probably the only option um, you can think I'm stupid what are you putting yourself through that for what other choices do I have right there are too many instances in the real world where you have to bend stoop uh, you know, lean over to get things. Consider the grocery store, right? Depending on your height, and I'm 6'3", it um, will depend on how low that bottom shelf is. Well, unfortunately, I'm not a Lilliputian, so it's not like I'm conveniently at ground level. So, for me to get things, depending on how they've arranged the shelves, the shelf closest to the ground and possibly the shelf right above that can be a bit of a shit show. You know? Um, and it doesn't really matter, depending on the day, how I bend down to get that thing. It's still going to hurt. Uh, God forbid I have to be bent over and look for something because that'll just be a write-off. You know? What do you do about that? I honestly don't know. So, right now is the point, and whatever the, the factor is in your rehab, it, it's going to differ than my rehab. Um, you know, your I want to give up point could be the fact that you're in a rehab hospital and you're going to be there for a couple of months and you're feeling kind of shitty, right? Um, I don't want to give up point for you. It could be the fact that, you know, <clears throat> your communicative skills have been hobbled. Um, and you're not as effective as you used to be in, in getting across the message you need to share with people. Um, your give up point <clears throat> could have just been the fact you had a stroke. Well, if you've gotten to the point where you sit, feel sorry for yourself, well, don't care. If you want sympathy, you can check the dictionary between shit and syphilis. You'll find sympathy there, my friend. I'm not going to give you sympathy. Right? I'm not going to go, whoa, whoa, this is going to get better, because it ain't getting better. right? Not without work. <clears throat> so for those of you that have given up, and uh, you're doing the why me, woe is me routine, don't care. Just, just go away. These videos are now not for you. Um, or at least this video isn't. Um... So, and, and if you're at the woe is me part, you might want to go to the video on the why me or the uh, positive attitude equals positive outcomes. Those are the ones you're probably going to want to go watch right now. Um, yeah, so it, whatever your I want to give up point is, <clears throat> and every day is going to have a little like, yeah, screw it, I'm done. Um, yeah, there are days where you're going to have to call your own foul and say, listen, i, I got to go lie down, or i got to take a break, or i got to leave the situation, or i got to come back to this in an hour, or whatever the case may be. Coming back to it is one thing. Giving up is another. If you just give up, right, the stroke thing doesn't get any better, right? Because you may have to accept the fact, <clears throat> or the circumstance, but your life will not return back to where it was completely 20 minutes before your stroke. That's just reality. Um, and when I say accept, I mean begrudgingly, under duress. Like, you're not happy about it, but it's now your new reality. Um, so, for those of you that have had a stroke, and I know there's probably one or two out there that have had, um, based on my conversations over the past while, running into people that have had strokes or know people that have had strokes, um, and recommending, hey, you might want to watch this. 
Um, <clears throat> for those of you that have had a stroke, right, don't give up. For those of you that have people around you that have had a stroke, and they're in the throes of the recovery machine, right, if they get to the point where they look like they're wanting to give up, <clears throat> that point, go kick them in the ass, right, and let them know that their recovery does not get any better at all if they give up. In fact, it stagnates. <clears throat> it will just stay exactly where it's at. And it doesn't get any better at that point. It can't. Right? Simply, simply on the basis that it can't get better because you stop working at it. <clears throat> and if you stop working at it, how does it get better? And so you end up with this never-ending circle. I want to stop. Okay. Give up. Things don't get better. Why haven't they gotten better? I've given up. Oh, my life sucks. It's not getting better. Why hasn't it gotten better? You've given up. <clears throat> okay. So, for those of you that want to get frustrated and give up, go for it perfectly acceptable. But you have to also accept with the choice of giving up comes the decision of it doesn't get better from there. Right? For those of you that choose not to give up, such as myself, <clears throat> you have to accept the fact you've now made a more difficult choice. Because now you have to work and earn every single success. Right? That's where I'm at right now. Um... Trying to get to 30 push-ups without vertigo? <clears throat> yeah, not such a fun time. Uh, and trying to get through those 30 push-ups with vertigo? <sighs> yeah, not such a fun time. No, 30 push-ups before the stroke would have been relatively easy. Um, 30 push-ups now, just the up and down motion. Um, makes me want to puke, you know, and it's not like I had a really good PT session, I want to puke now, or, you know, I'm just finishing the seventh kilometer at 10 and I need to take a puke break, you know, it's, it's not one of those, um, it's the, I want to get physically ill just from the up and down motion, <clears throat> yeah, fun, well, on that note, I'm going to head off and have coffee. Uh, consider what to do with my day because it's now 8, 10 in the morning. Yay! Uh, sleep, not so bad. I uh, had one night slightly disrupted sleep, so I think the new world's record is five. Officially, the new world's record of nights of uninterrupted, continuous sleep would be five. Better number than before because before it was one-ish. Maybe on the ish. So, hopefully that trend continues. So if you've liked what you've seen here over the last, uh, oh, nine weeks, we're in the ninth week now, um, please like, share, subscribe with your friends, comments. Um, a couple of people made some comments or emailed me about certain things, so I'm going to do a video on uh, the cost of a stroke, um, what it actually cost me to have a stroke, because I'm in Canada. Um, because a couple of my U U.S. subscribers have asked, hey, what did that cost? So we're going to either via email or via comment so i'm gonna do a video on that um <clears throat> that point that'll take some research yeah so uh, if you like see share subscribe with your friends if you don't like this you know please stop watching because you know again you are 13 minutes and 36 seconds into a video that apparently you did not enjoy new life choices my friends new life choices you might want to consider some flat earthers uh, maybe chemtrails uh other kin um, people that don't want to accept the fact that, you know, Fred, Fred Flintstone's not a real human. I don't, I don't know. Okay. So, and on that note, if you happen to see either in yourself or someone around you, the signs or symptoms of a stroke, that being facial droop, slurred speech, stuttering, inappropriate word usage for situation or context, inability to smile effectively, equally, or at all, inability to raise both arms effective, equally, or at all, inability to stand unaided, general body weakness or weakness on one side, please immediately place that person in a position of comfort and dial 911. Something so simple could save a life.